Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Mojo Dialer and how to use it in your cold calling business to generate leads to turn into deals. All right, so right off the bat, I kinda of wanted to share with you why I use Mojo Dialer. My cold calling business is pretty small, so it's where I generate most of my deals, but it's really only two people on the phones. It's me and then a, a cold caller that I hire. So Mojo Dialer is good when you have a small team. It's a little bit more expensive per agent than some other solutions like CallRail or Whitetail. But those companies, I know Whitetail for sure has a minimum. You have to spend $400. So until you have four people cold calling for you, it's kind of tough to use use that, justify spending that much money. So Mojo Dialer, like I said, a bit expensive, but it's way it's it's more user friendly than any of the other systems I've used. I have used call tools in the past. They're they're decent. They are I think they're like 130 a month right now. Mojo is 149. I've used Whitetail but briefly. Mojo Dialer, it's the most user friendly. You're gonna see that here in a second. You basically just take your list plug it in and then you're good to you're good to start calling. So two things that you need before you get started are phone numbers to call and a number to call from and you may have already you may already have that figured out for yourself which is fine but in case you don't I just want to give you sort of a starting point. So for phone numbers to call, I use Skip Matrix in my business. There's actually if you use the discount word Crayson, which is just my last name, you actually get a discount. You get 14 cents per record or depending on how many records you skip trace, it could be 13 cents per record. So you'll save some money there. And also, Skip Matrix is great because they say you send a thousand records and 950 of them come back skip traced. They'll refund you for the 50 that they didn't find a phone number on. I don't know any other company that does that. Their customer service is great. They get your list back to you and it's quality data. I'm always getting a hold of the right people. The second thing is you're gonna need a phone number to call from. You're not gonna wanna use your own personal cell phone number. Just don't do it. If you call somebody on the wrong day and they decide they wanna sue you or something like that, I've never had this issue, but if, they, if you use your personal cell phone number, it's tied to you and they can find out who you are. So having a number that you call from gives you a layer of protection so that they don't come after you personally. Plus, you don't want to mix your personal number with your business number. It's just not good. And for that, I use a company called Smartphone without the A, so S-M-R-T phone. Um, if you use my link below, you actually get a discount. I think it's 40% uh, off of your phone numbers. So check out that link in the description as well or consider that option. All right, so with that, it's time to jump into Mojo here in the computer and I'm going to show you how to get it set up and how to start your cold calling uh, off on the right foot. So let's, let's move into the computer. All right, so here we are behind the scenes in Mojo. Um, to get started, what you want, you're gonna have to link up your phone number so that it can dial out. You're gonna need a list to get in there, right? You're gonna wanna input your data, and you're also gonna wanna input a script. So I'm gonna show you how to do those three things so that you can, so that you can start calling. So first thing, this is, the, uh, this is the first screen. You're gonna want to, let's just start with um, putting in your phone number. So when you go to settings here, if I did that kind of fast, go to your thing, go to settings, it'll bring you here. Caller ID, this is where you're gonna add your phone number, so you go add caller ID, put in your phone number here from smartphone or wherever you got it from, name it whatever you want, and then hit verify. What it will do is call that phone number, you'll have to pick it up, and then I think you just press one or maybe say something, and the number will be verified, and you can start to call out from that phone number. Next thing you wanna do is set up your script. So just moving over to the right here, scripts, forms, and then scroll down to calling scripts. And this is pretty cool. So you, all you do is go create, copy and paste your script in here. What's kinda of cool, you can say, if your script is hi, and then their first name, how are you? You do these merge tags where you can say, all right, the first name in my data, and then you just kind of cut this and put it where you want it. And then what'll happen is, and I'll show you how to do this, you're gonna set it up when you start to dial so that it uses whatever script you want. And say someone answers the phone and it knows that it's John Smith at 123 Main Street, 
it'll put their name in there. So say, hey, hey, John, how are you? So you can kind of just read your script to get started off on the right foot in the conversation. So you're gonna name it whatever you want. Mojo demo one, save it. And there you go. So you've got your phone number, you've got your script in there, right? Mojo demo one is the one we just made. The next thing you wanna do is you're gonna need to put in your data. To do that, you go data and dialer. And then you're gonna to wanna to create a folder and then put your list in that folder is how I, I generally recommend doing it because you might have different types of lists as you can see here. Relatives, refinance, equity, vacants, things like that. So to create a folder, hit this, just hover over this plus button, create folder. We're gonna call it Mojo Demo. Save the folder and then you wanna create a list. Let's call it Mojo Demo phones save that list and then this was this was kind of tricky for me at the beginning so it's not actually in this folder what you what you want to do to get this list in that folder is go edit the folder with the three three little things there edit and then select that list to go into that folder and now you can see it's actually when I click the arrow it goes away so it's in that folder so now what you gotta do is, you see that we, we've clicked on the list here, but there's no phone numbers. So we need to import some data. So you go import file, choose file, Mojo list for video. And let me actually pull up that list so you can see what's in it. So I just put in some random data here and I just punched random phone numbers. So it's got the first name, last name. With skip matrix, you get a lot more data, but just for the example here, there, I'll actually probably have a separate video on skip matrix itself, but for this example, you've got five phone numbers of different types and then you've got first name, last name and the, uh, the, the property address. So we're gonna, we already chose that file. So next step, I thought we had chosen that file. All right, so now we got it there. Next step, select the list you want it in. Select the manager, next. So it'll try, Mojo will actually try to map the fields for you automatically. So here you have first name, it picked up last name. You can see here that it, it missed the property address that's because down here, if you look at the, the example data, it says street. So it, it just had a hard time with that. So we're gonna go street, and now it has it mapped. You also wanna make sure in your data, sometimes you know, you'll have mail, you'll have owner address and property address. Make sure you put the property address where it's supposed to go and the mailing address where it's supposed to go so you don't confuse yourself. And then you can see it already picked up the phones, so we're good there. Next thing you wanna do is just hit next. To be imported seven so that seven records that we had there not seven phone numbers there's going to be multiple phone numbers on each record but this is the number of records to be imported finish import and we're done so now you see when we click on the list it has the phone numbers and then it has how many times we've tried to call them so those are the three things that you need to get set up to, to do Mojo. The next thing you wanna do is start dialing. So you're gonna select the list, hit power dialer, and a couple things here to remember, or this is how I, I set it up. You're gonna select your phone number that you did at the beginning of this video, call back message. This is something you record, so Mojo has a triple line dialer, so it's gonna be calling three people at one time. What happens if two people pick up at once, right? It's kind of a, if you're new to this, it, that can be something to be nervous about. Don't be nervous about it. Record a voicemail that says, yeah, hey, hi, uh, sorry, I'm having, my, my phone's acting up, I'm gonna call you right back. Something like that. And then what'll happen is, you'll be on the phone with someone and Mojo will automatically drop that. So they go, hello? And then your phone and goes, hey, yeah, this is, uh, hi, I'm sorry, I'll call you right back. And then when Mojo, when you're done with this conversation, Mojo will automatically call this person back 
and it'll even say calling back so you know. And then what I do is when I when they pick up, yeah, hello, I go, oh, hey, Becky, it's Kyle. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm having issues with my phone here. How you doing today? And then you just roll into your script, right? I do four rings. You could do more if you wanted. I find that if they don't answer within four, they're probably not answering at all, and you, get, you wanna call more numbers. Like I said, here's where you wanna select whatever script. So Mojo Demo 1, Lead Sheet, Default, whatever, whatever. That's how I have this part set up. The next thing is over here, call this from where I last left off. If it's the first time you're dialing a list, then where you left off is from the very top, so you're fine. If for some reason you get halfway through a list and then you wanna start it again from the top, you would select this, call the list from top to bottom regardless. But then you would wanna change it back when you come to dial again, because say you wanted to pick up where you left off. It won't remember that. You have to switch it back to call where I left off. And then you have optional dialing filters. So you could say not dialed, not contacted. This is key. When you're calling somebody and you get a hold of them and they're not interested, you want to mark them as contacted. And you don't want to, when you call the list again, because you want to call these lists like five times. When you call the list again, you don't want to call them back like next week. They just they just told you, I'm not interested. You don't want to get cussed out on the phone, right? So you want to do not contacted, say ever, or like we just said here, you could say maybe you call it 180 days. If I called them in the last six months, don't call them, don't, don't call them again, right? And this is great. See, this is how easy, easy mojo is to go through your list and keep on cycling these. I have lists from, so we're in November right now. I still have lists from January that I still, February, March, that I still go back and call just because they weren't interested in January. If say they got a code violation in January and I called them then, they may not have been ready in January, but I keep on calling them because maybe something happened and now it's May or June or July or whenever, and maybe now they're ready. So Mojo makes that really easy to do in here. That's really the only ones I use. I don't use any of this created date, any of this other stuff, right? And then start the power dialer. Once you're in here, it's gonna tell you it's not filtering out any, so all seven are gonna be sent to the dialer. Start dialing, connecting to the dialer, and then this will be maybe for another video we'll, we'll, we'll actually call and you can hear me call. But I wanted to go over this side here. So when you hop on the phone with somebody, like we already went over contact, if you get a hold of them, yeah, this is this is John. Oh, okay, great. Hey, are you interested in selling your house? Whatever your script is. And then they're like, no, I'm not interested. Appreciate the call though. Okay, great. Have a great rest of your day. You would hit contacted, which would be here. If you called and say you got somebody and it's like, hi, is John there? And they're like, no, 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 he's out. He's not, he's not here right now. Okay, do you know when he'll be back? I can try again later. Yeah, I'll be back later this afternoon or whatever. Okay, so this is the right number. You know it's the right number, but he's just not there. You wanna say no contact next number because it might've been a landline on the first number, but that second number might be the cell phone. So you go next number and then someone will pick up, you know, and then what will happen is you go through all the numbers in the record and then you won't have this option. It'll be no contact next record. So you're adding numbers to call for John Smith. Now you're saying, oh, I didn't get a hold of them. Next record. Get it? Bad number, I never use it. Left message, I never use it. DNC contact, again, is the whole record. So say you do get a hold of John Smith and he starts to cuss you out. I'm gonna sue you, you mf -er, like whatever, right? It happens. You're gonna DNC the contact. You don't wanna call John Smith or any of his other phone numbers again. Say though, you're trying to call John Smith and you know they're like, no, you got the wrong number, I'm 14, right? Or something like that, you got like clearly the wrong phone number, then you just go DNC the number so that you never call that number again. You know what I mean? And that's it. I don't use quick callback. I've never used it. I've never used this redial function. I, you hang up, pause the dialer, and do that stuff all the time. That is base, That is it. That's Mojo. So I did get a, um, I got another question on another video that I made, and it was, what happens to the lead? So say you get someone that says, yeah, I'm interested in, um, 
I'm interested in selling my house. And you go through the four things, all right, you know, can you tell me about the condition? Well, when are you looking to sell it by? Why are you thinking about selling it? It sounds like a good house. And then how much are you looking to walk away with? Right, you wanna to try to ask those four things. Um, and then it's it gets submitted as a lead. Where does that go? I use Podio personally. Uh, I'm gonna make, if I haven't already, a Podio video. I made one last year, but I'm gonna make an update. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested. But yeah, the lead would then go into Podio. And then in Podio, it has its, you have your own follow-up system. So it's two separate things. You have cold calling with Mojo, and then you're gonna call back and follow up with your smartphone numbers. So that's why you have a smartphone. You're gonna have the cold calling number and smartphone that you use to dial in Mojo. And this all makes sense when you do it. And then you're gonna have your own business phones. So then you're gonna follow up with your actual line. Hey, it's, it's Kyle, I'm calling you from my direct line. How you doing, John? Or whatever it is, right? So it goes into Podio. So I, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. Um, if you have any questions at all about Mojo or anything else, please drop a comment. You know, I try to, I'm active in there. I enjoy having conversations about this stuff. And uh, otherwise, I will see you on the next video.